Hey guys, this is Chef Benet in the Mini Cafe, and I am not only excited today, but I am just glad to be in your homes. Yet another opportunity, another time. So listen guys, today we're going to do something quick and simple. We're going to do some breakfast burritos, but we're going to do it what? The Kidney Cafe way. But, but first, before we do that, because I'm going to do something a little different. Let's talk about potatoes for a couple of minutes. Now, when we talk about potatoes, most of the times we like to stay away from them. What? Because of the phosphorus. What I like to tell people who have kidney failure or kidney disease is you boil the potatoes. By boiling the potatoes, it allows us to take out a lot of that phosphorus so we're able to have potatoes. But guess what? Here at the Kidney Cafe, we like to show you options and choices. What is this, guys? This is a sweet potato. We like to use a sweet potato more so than a regular potato. Now, what some of the things that we like to do is, as you can see, we have the sweet potatoes that we have chopped up that we're going to put in our burrito today, but we also have some sweet potato fries. So I want you to think about not just always thinking about that potatoes. Because somebody like me, you know, I've told, told you my story, always been a big boy, always love, love, love uh, everything from the... Um, Everything from potato chips to baked potato, all that kind of stuff. But as you get older and as you start to become more healthier consciously, you begin to change the way that you start to think on how you're going to do things. So what we're going to do is we're going to start sauteing. We got our, we have our grill on. So I'm just going to make me some good old potatoes. Now, a lot of times what can happen also, guys, is this could be also... you. Okay, go ahead and dump it all. I got you. So what can happen is this can also be used as another alternative to your hash browns. So we're going to go ahead and let that cook. And while we're doing that, we're going to move further and we're going to move further with our potatoes. And we're going to go ahead and do a little seasoning on them. And then from the seasoning, and everyone know about Chaponet seasonings. So we're going to add a little of this. We're going to add way more items to our grill today. We're going to add more items to our grill, but you see beautiful potatoes. So opposed to you always doing your regular hash browns that you get from the store, how about doing the substitute? that we talked about. Now, what we're going to also do, guys, is we're going to do some mushrooms. You know how much I love mushrooms. Mushrooms, we talked about that being a good source of protein. And it looks like, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. It looked like I took the wrong. It's okay. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to add a little of my roasted we're going to add some roasted garlic here. You know, because you want to get that taste going. We're going to add some onions. Let's add a little onions. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to let all of this grill here. And it doesn't matter if you get it all together, you know. So, so guys, what we're doing is we are preparing for the breakfast burrito by adding our mushrooms. We're adding some onions. We're adding some roasted garlic. And we're also going to put on here our meat. So let's take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to pick up where we left off with our breakfast burrito. We'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back here, and I'm excited because we started off today talking to you about sweet potatoes. Now, many of you know 
that the Kidney Cafe, because the Sea Island Foundation is a nonprofit, so we do a lot of things in the community, and one of our biggest hits is my vegan walnut sweet potato pie. So, because that was a big hit, I decided today that we're going to add some sweet potatoes in our, our I'm going to say sweet potato hash browns, in our breakfast burrito today. Also, it's going to give you that good feeling taste, because a lot of times, you know, when we eat, you know, we want to be full, but we also want to make sure that we still have a little room left in our tummy. So that's what's important. What I also did was, guys, as you see, we have our onions and our mushrooms and our roasted garlic. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. I never used roasted garlic before. I went to Wegmans. I was so excited. Speaking of Wegmans, let me just say this, and that is today what we're doing is we are using our Don't Be Piggy, okay? And this is the crumbles that is meatless sausage style crumbles. That's what we're using today in our meal, which is our breakfast burrito. So that's what you see here. And I like to use the grill because I'm a grill person. When I tell you, baby, this summer, when we start talking about Chef Renee on that grill, that's right behind you, it's going to be amazing. Now, always remember that we have not started I'm talking to our producer Ashley now about it because so many people are asking me to do prepared meals for the dialysis community, to prepare the same meals that you see here, to prepare them and have them delivered to your home. Now, we, ain't, we haven't gotten that fancy, and all of, the, all of the food that I make now, we give that away because of the foundation and because of the nonprofit. So while we're cooking these and this is simmering, let me kind of share with you how everything is going to go down today. So what's going to happen is, is we're, we're making our breakfast burrito. We have it on the grill. I want to kind of show you because a lot of times people say in the morning, especially in the morning, they don't have a lot of time to cook. They want to get in, get stuff for the family and get out the door. This is a great meal. It's a meal inside of a burrito because you have your proteins, you have uh, your carbs, your good carbs for you to have, you have your veggies. It's all wrapped up in one. And remember what we talk about. It's almost time for me to replace it. The Chef Benet Seasonings. The Chef Benet Seasonings has very little salt in it. We know as kidney folk, we got to be careful about our sodium. Why? You know why. Sodium, what is it going to do? A lot of times what's going to happen is you talk about people when they say, oh, my feet are swelling, my ankles are swelling and all of that. A lot of that times that has to do with too much sodium. A lot of us can't really know how to regulate the sodium and that's why it's important to do less intake as possible. Now, also a little goodie that I found at Wegmans was also their alkaline water with electrolytes. Why is that important? Because a lot of times what we do is we eat a lot of food that's very acidity on the pH scale. It's important that we do more alkaline opposed to acidity because what happens when the food has a lot of acid in it that's when we have acid reflux that is when we start having problems with our stomach and digestion because we have too much acidity in our system that's why it's important for us to make sure that we have a more alkaline situation now because all of it's going in the burrito i don't have no problem mixing it now what i see that's missing is I want to add some peppers to it. Look how great this is. These are red peppers. What do we say about that kidney community? I'm going to tell you, red peppers is part of the superfoods. That is something that is recommended that we also have in our diet is the red peppers. But guess what? We're trying to cut down on a lot of seasonings. We're trying to cut down on a lot of salt. We're trying to cut down on a lot of extra things. So what happens is, is that we want to use, and then some of us could be like yours truly. I'm the person who I never did peppers and all of that before I started the Kidney Cafe, and now I fell in love with peppers. I fell in love with making sure that I have all the different types of nutrition. I try to make sure that I use, we talked about on the Kidney Cafe, the different uh, the superfoods for people who have kidney failure or kidney disease. And we try to make sure that we use as many superfoods as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue to grill this. And then what's going to happen is when we come back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly to 
bringing out our, our uh, the rest of what we need to do our tortillas so we can be able to get us a really nice thing going now a really nice burrito breakfast so now what I like to do is a lot of times it can be up to you in reference to we need a little sauce what kind of sauce would we do to add in here now I'm a sauce person guys I like to create all kind of sauces so I'm just sitting here thinking because the next procedure is of course we have to do our egg and we have to put our tortilla in and then we have to add our ingredients and then voila, we're all done. Now I'm cheating because I'm mixing it all up together. So the only thing I had to do is just grab some, put them in the tortilla, roll them and we're done opposed to doing step by step. Now, when I make other wraps, I like to do step by step because I, I like to paint that picture. You know, I'm an artist and when I'm making my, let's say for example, my steak and cheese wraps, what I oftentimes like to do is I like to build. So I start off, I'm going to do a little building for you today because the spirit just told me you want to see me build. So I'm going to build something today. So we're going to pause for a second here. And when we come back, we're going to have our stove and everything lit, ready to go to add our eggs and our final touches. And then you will truly have to figure out what kind of sauce are we going to use in our burritos that's going to give us that nice little extra kick that we need. Sit back and relax. Hey guys, we're back in the kitchen and we're ready to just add our tortilla and get our and get the party started, baby. It's time for us to get this breakfast burrito on because we are hungry and we are ready to what? Eat. All right, guys. So listen here. While we're doing this, I just kind of want to talk to you about how the importance of making sure that you have the right levels of protein. Some of the things that we're going to be talking on the kidney cafe is we're going to be talking about protein we're going to be talking about potassium we're going to be talking about phosphorus um protein potassium phosphorus sodium those are the things that we're going to be talking about here on the kidney cafe so basically what we're doing now guys is we are going to do our uh, there's so many different ways that you can do a burrito and uh, what i want to do is i like to put my tortilla in and i like to kind of let that tortilla get kind of soft so we can just do our do our job which is by adding in you see now the glycerin that you see of course is the olive oil and basically what we do is just to let you know is we do our meat crumbles first which we know is plant-based and i came back with instead of potatoes i did the sweet potatoes and then we just did our egg now because some of the people on the team here uh, do not use cheese at all. I decided to make hers first with no cheese. Okay. So now what I normally like to do is when you see it start to get puffy like this, you see it starting to get the air in it. And I'm like, okay, baby, then that's when I want to take it out. And while I'm taking this out, I'm going to put another one in. Okay. So really, really simple and easy. Now, what I like to do also is I'm going to use, let's see, let me get something fancy here some of the chef and they too so what i like to do is i like to go ahead and paint or i like to go ahead and create my little picture so first what i want to do before i do anything else is i want to add a little paste and this is something that i just created today and just because i want to be able to have some kind of liquid form something that give you that extra power to it and that is what we did today then of course we're going to come back and we're going to add a little egg to it okay so i probably should move that but add a little egg and i just just did that in the center but we can do as many things as you like with it but what i like to do is you see the little puffiness coming in there see how that's puffing up so i'm gonna take that down but i like to paint the picture okay i like to be able to create it look how beautiful that's looking already and the only thing i have on there is i have my uh I have a little bit of eggs along with, and you see I haven't put any more olive oil in there. This is done too, okay? So I did me a little arugula. Why did I do arugula? Because arugula is also one of the superfoods that is recommended that we have if we have uh, 
kidney failure or kidney disease. Then I come around with my crumbles. Look how pretty that look, guys. Okay? So the only thing else I need to do with this one, since this is the one that we're not adding cheese to it, only thing I need to do is just wrap this one and this one's ready to go. But because I'm going to make this one for one of the producers who I know uh, can be funny acting, I'm going to add just a little, I said funny acting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add just a little more paste to hers while I'm making my last few tortillas. Now you see how I'm doing with the tortillas, the ones that are ready to go, good to go, they're on the side, the ones that need to be uh, cooked is here. I'm keeping to make sure because I don't want to put more oil in there um, because we had enough oil there. So what I may do now, guys, is I just may take just a little bit. This is for Ashley. I may take a little bit for that. And then we begin to roll the burrito. Now, she do like, oh, she's not getting any cheese because I was about to say we want definitely put that cheese on there. So you want to just roll them, tuck them. And what I like to do is when I get towards the end, I may do a little extra tucking, okay? And then voila. So what would normally happen, guys, is we're going to come back later and we're going to cut that in half because we want to make sure that one of the things that we talk about on the show is what? Portion control. Making sure that if, the, if you want to eat, I tell people you can eat whatever you want, but you want to make sure that you use portion control. OK, you want to make sure that you calm that thing down and not be able to just all of a sudden just be eating everything, the, the, the large quantities. What do we talk about when we talk about going out? You know, the rule book, the kidney cafe. When we talk about going out to eat, when we talk about going out to eat, what do we say? What we say is we want to make sure that we do not eat everything on the plate. You got to portion size it out. We talked about. Uh, how much meat that you should have, how much veggies you should have. If, you, if you're not privy to that, you want to go ahead and go to our YouTube and all of our sites in order to do that. So, in order to pay attention to that. Now, I finished this. I'm going to just move this one out the way because we're done with that. And now what's going to happen is, is that we're going to just continue to do like we did before. All of our ingredients are done. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause for a second here. And when we come back, you're going to see the actual plated food of all the breakfast burritos. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, guys, and guess what? It is time for us to end this segment of the Kidney Cafe. I want to just appreciate you and I just want to just share with you kind of again the importance of trying to make easy quick meals that you can do and think about it. Really it didn't take no more than about 10 minutes and look how many uh, uh, burritos that we have from this. So it's important that if you want to do something quick for your kids, you want to do something quick for yourself. One of the things that I like to do when I like to do the burritos is I'll take two in the morning, but guess what? I'll wrap up two and have two for lunch. And guess what? I'm not still eating any meat, but I'm still getting something healthy and putting something into my stomach that I know that I'm going to enjoy. So let's just try this. Mm. You see, I'm still chewing. Mm. This is really delicious, everyone. Let me explain to you again. You have the crumbles. You have the eggs. Mine has cheese in it. The cheese is vegan. I have mushrooms. I have peppers. I have roasted uh, garlic. And it's just important that we added some of these superfoods in here. So olive oil is a superfood. The uh, arugula is a superfood. Mushrooms is a superfood. You see, what you see where I'm going with this? So it's important for you to be able to make sure that you have a balanced nutrition meal all throughout the day if you want to remain healthy and keep those kidneys feeling and looking and especially working good. I'll see you next week on The Kidney Cafe.